You mentioned that you have a toddler who still uses a pacifier, but you also have an infant who uses a pacifier. So, of course, the logical question is, how do you get the toddler off it while your infant still uses it? That's a really good question. Now, the one benefit to having a toddler is that they can understand you. Even if it's just a little bit, that's beneficial. You can have a conversation with them about getting rid of the binky. They probably won't like it, but you can also realize that they are turning to the binky for comfort, and they might be able to replace the binky with something else that brings them comfort. Like maybe you could take your toddler shopping and buy a special soft toy or get a new blanket that your toddler can use at night or when they're in need of comfort instead of the binky. Maybe by approaching it this way, the toddler will feel like they're special because the baby doesn't get that new toy, and that might be um, advantageous when trying to get them off it. Another thing that you can try, and I did this with my own kids, you can just cut the top off the binky, and when they try to suck on it, it doesn't work. So they decide on their own free will and choice that it's not something they want to do anymore because it doesn't work how it used to, or offer them the comfort that they're seeking. So in most cases, kids get mad, and they throw it, and that's that. And if you get them out of sight, it usually is out of mind, and some kids just move past it. If not, and you continue to struggle with it, know that it will probably just be a battle for a few days, and your child should get over it. Um, now, there's always the chance that they'll go find the baby's binky, and if you find that your toddler's doing that, then have a conversation with them about how those are the babies, and if it escalates, then maybe some sort of timeout or something would be necessary. But again, try to replace it with something that brings your child comfort, and hopefully that will help. Good luck with it, and if you have any other questions for me in the future, feel free to ask them on our Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash intermountainmoms and recommend us to your friends and family too.